They only play like six songs here, kind of making me crazy. You look like you want a private dance. How about we take this party to the back? Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we, uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we got to stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me though. No? But remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Look, dog, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, 
Maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Clockwork, Mikey. Like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something I could help you with. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Why don't you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine! Shit! I was gonna pay you, man, when there ain't an obvious profit in something. You're a hard guy to motivate. Thirteen thirty. We're an hour down, two to go. who keeps talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on! Mike's observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The security's internal rather than external. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. But what those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. Careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good boy. Don't want them jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Anyway, if you want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect... Positions. 
If the GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel, we'll have red flags all over the place. Fine! What you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time, and the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. seconds ago. <laughs> Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! Sounds hopeful to me! You got a backup plan? We can modify this top 
chopper to carry the weight, but we need another one to match. Easy enough to get. If we're using it for the job, would you consider taking your name off the side? You think I'm taking down the Union Depository and anything other than a chopper with my name on it? Well, then you don't know me, bro. I thought you'd say that. Two ideas. It's gonna take a while to get them together or work them up, but I think there's a way. It's not impossible. All right. We'll start thinking about the breakout, too. Bradley Snyder. He's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye. Nice house, isn't it? You like it? I'm selling it. You want to buy it? I'm downsizing. No. No, I'm good. I used to sell houses like this all the time, okay? I sold dreams. I made lives meaningful. I'm not sure about that. Oh, but you like, you like beautiful things, though, don't you? Sure. Well, I just happen to know the most beautiful woman. You want a bouncy bouncy. Josh. Josh Bernstein. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the Josh Bernstein. Yeah, I never heard of you. Oh, well, I used to be a big deal once in real estate, and so I had my license taken away. My meal ticket. Where's the chick? I'll get to that. I'll get to that. See, it's not really, it's not really money that I'm after here. It's just it's a little something more awkward than that. Now, Lenny Avery. <laughs> he... He was my best friend. And now, he has taken all of my clients. All of them. Do you think that you could take out all of his for sale signs? That was easy. She's worth it, man. I love you. I love you. I love you. Lenny... Avery. 